What's up everyone? I'm Jackie YBT, Tech Away, Tech Everything. So today is a review day. I'm gonna review this bad boy, the TP-Link Archer T4U. And I did an unboxing video like about a month ago. So you guys can watch that unboxing video first before you come and watch this review. So today I will talk about the three different area about this product, the design, the feature, and the price. Whether you should buy this Wi-Fi wireless adapter or not. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, let's talk about the design and the dimensions. For the length, it without open wide is 92.47 mm. And if you stretch out open until the end, 160 mm. For the width is 31.55 mm. And the thickness is 13.9 mm. TP Link Archer T4U is made out of plastic and aluminium. Then just a bit of aluminium as you can see from the USB 3.0 port. It is not very sturdy. Uh, when you shake it, you can you can hear a little plasticky noise. So I'm gonna shake it right now close to my microphone so that you guys can hear it. Yeah, so because of that, I don't think you should drop this device from high anywhere. Just keep it safe. It won't hold it from a high drop. The whole surface of this product is piano black finish. Looks elegant, looks great, but it's a fingerprint magnet. When you hold it, it will definitely show your fingerprint. You have to clean it constantly just to make it clean. And it comes with two high gain antenna. So it will definitely stick it out. If you want to use it for your PC and laptop, definitely will stick out. It's not like nano USB design, like your wireless mouse. Yeah, I just hope that they can make it shorter and smaller with the antenna because the antenna provide a long range of reception, better Wi-Fi signal. It just make it shorter so that it won't protrude that much. Next, let's talk about feature. This product jam-packed a lot of feature. First, two external high gain antenna. Support beam foaming for those device who supported the Wi-Fi AC standard. What is beam foaming? In a layman term, beam foaming is all about concentrating a Wi-Fi signal in a specific direction. The router will determine where your device, it can be laptop, smartphone, tablet or whatever else, is located and projects a stronger signal in that specific direction. Besides that, the Archer T4U has dual band Wi-Fi support with all the Wi-Fi standard AO2.11. 11BGN AC. So for the 2.4 GHz, it support up to 400 megabits per second. And for the 5 GHz, it supports up to 867 megabits per second. Theoretically, it can support if you have the modem that can support this kind of speed. On my modem, it can't because like I'm only using 100 megabits per second Wi-Fi. The reception of this Archer T4U is pretty great because I'm using my laptop in my bedroom and the modem is downstairs, one floor. It's still able to receive Wi-Fi very stable and I will show you the test, the speed test that you guys are waiting for right now. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure everyone is waiting for this moment which is the speed test. I'm going to show you the speed test before using the TP-Link Archer T4U and after using the TP-Link Archer T4U. As you can see, this is before. The result is really bad. So, so the internet speed that I'm using for monthly is 100 megabits per second. And look at that result, it's terrible. So right now, let's switch to the TP-Link Archer T4U. As you can see, the speed improved tremendously. Look at that speed. Be before that, you can't even achieve 10 megabytes per second. You now in my room, in my bedroom, the modem is downstairs and this result is phenomenal. 
two little features which is the LED indicator and the WPS button. The LED indicator shows you that your Archer T4U is connected. And if you want to connect to your Wi-Fi modem without password, you can press the WPS on your modem and then you press the WPS button on your Archer T4U and voila, you can connect your Wi-Fi without any password. It is very convenient and seamlessly. Last but not least, price. Got this Archer T4U on Shopee for 75 ringgit. You can also get this from Lazada, eBay, Amazon, but the price will be different. Usually it's around 70 to 79 ringgit Malaysia. I think it's pretty a fair price consider you get all those features and TP-Link is a well-known company that have a year's warranty so you no need to worry about the, the product damage or something like that you can return it back and you claim your warranty support beam foaming dual band up to 1300 megabits per second pretty stable reception you want to get a Wi-Fi AC support for your device this Wi-Fi wireless adapter is for you I would recommend you guys to buy it but there's always a but as there's nothing perfect for the design I am hope that they can make it shorter and thinner while retaining the two external high gain Wi-Fi antenna and don't use a glossy piano black finish use a matte finish I know it looks good but it's a fingerprint magnet and I hate it that's about it guys thanks for watching if you think this review video is important and useful for you please click a like button and remember to subscribe share it to your friends and family click the bell icon to get more notification and also buy my merch to support this channel I'm thinking maybe I should set up a PayPal account for you guys to donate as you know I don't earn anything from all my videos so it's kind of you you guys can donate to me but no pressure just just watch my video like and share it and I'll see you in the next video goodbye